welcome to the Scuba Made YouTube channel. Well, welcome back, guys. Um, try to make this a quick video. Um, I've only had this car for like two weeks or so now, and um, I've just noticed because you don't always come to the back that the uh, LED lights and the tail lights aren't working. Um, now, if you can see in there, they're just the lights aren't on right now. I can go and turn them on. So, what the problem is the leds aren't coming on and uh i've tried to wiggle it a bit and that no, it still won't come on the ones on the other side are working but um yeah for now they won't come on so um i had this problem on my other bmw my 325i and what i actually did was um, pull them out and try and fix it and i did manage to fix it so i'm going to try and do the same with these so um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the tail light out and uh, get started. Alrighty, so you do have to take out the carpet um, thing that covers the battery. You don't have to take it all out like I have, but I've just got it all out because I needed to get to the strut tops anyway. Um, it helps if you've got a deep drive eight, so you can get all the way on there. And this comes off pretty easy. And then just unclip this, there's a little clip in the middle, comes out super easily. And I believe, uh, looking at this, it's that there and that there that actually get the LEDs to come on, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, let's go ahead and pop that out. There we go, that comes out nice and easily. Okay, now that I got this out on the bench, um, yeah, we can try and see what's wrong with it. So that this and this seems to be where these go um, to power on these little LEDs. The LEDs are in there. Uh, if you can see, they're not, they're not in the other end. Yeah, they're not in there, they're in there. So, what I'm going to want to do is cut cut out a little section of this and reveal the LEDs and then try to fix it so that they come back on. And I'll be trying to use these as a power source to try and get them to light up. So, hopefully that works. <laughs> I'll just check these. Um, I think the brown one is the earth. So, I'll try and do this in a way that you can see. This just pops out a bit here. And then I'm gonna put that on there. Oh. And then just touch it, touch it with this. Touch that with that and nothing's happening. Yeah, it doesn't turn on. Hopefully when I'm done here, doing doing exactly this, we'll make those LEDs turn on. <laughs> I'm just gonna put a little towel down so I don't scratch scratch this too much. Yeah, and then we're, what we're gonna wanna do is cut, cut open. See, the LEDs are there, so we're gonna wanna cut open like a bit around here. I'm just going to use a knife to cut it. It'll be pretty hard to cut because it looks like pretty thick plastic, but anyway, let's give it a go. Alright, I ended up using the heat gun to make the blade get hot as you can see there it's a bit colorful now because i heated it up and that pushed it through a lot easier and it finally is ready to come out oh. oh look there we go i've got the uh i've got all the leds out with it so we got the right part there um yeah. Oh, there we go, that was easy. <laughs> okay, 
yeah as you can see there I cut that bit out and uh, that's where you want to get to the LEDs they're just sitting in there so something here isn't working I can try this thing on here to see again so this one and these aren't lighting up so I'm pretty sure Oh, yeah, we're definitely getting power there. There's a little spark, but no lights. So, let's see what we can do. Okay, well, it's time to see if this works. Tuck that back in there, put these in there. And, ready. Yes, there we go. Oh, ah. There we go, they're working again. That's awesome. Alrighty, oh, that's so awesome. Okay, well, I should try and get them back in here. So, um, how'd they come out? Okay, yeah, they're still working, and I just wriggled them heaps. So, let's put them in. Alrighty. So, I didn't have to cut in there. If you wanna just see exactly where that cut was, I managed to get it pretty good, I think. Took a long time to cut. But anyway, that's them working again. Try and get it up that way. Yeah, they're all on and all working, not flickering or anything. I better try and explain to you just what I did. This is the old LED. These ones weren't working. Um, the LED probably still works, but I don't know exactly what ohms and whatever it is and volts and stuff. So. I got some information, um, and I told the guys I shared, there's this shop here called J-Car, Nerd Perks. Now, he knew a lot more about this than I did, so that was the Nerd Perks for me. He drew me up this little thing, um, and yeah, he explained 12 volt coming in, 110 ohms, I think that is. That's uh, one of these things, one of them. And then to the, to the positive side, of the one LED, positive side of one LED, and positive side of one LED, and then all the negatives join up and go to the negative. And then, yeah, he drew me up this little diagram here, long, short, and did all this stuff, um, and that helped me out a lot. So, yeah, I was able to get this and some LEDs. I think, yeah, 2.1, is that right? Maybe they were 2.1 volt LEDs or something. Um, and then this, this was like one and well, whatever it says it is, resistance 0.5 watt or something. But anyway, um, yeah, I don't know exactly what all this means, but uh, the guy from JCar here, which is a shop in Australia that does electronics and that, um, he was pretty awesome and ex yeah, drew me this and explained everything to me. So I've, I'm doing my best to explain it to you because it was, it was a bit complicated for me. But um, as you can see, Anyway, that's that. Doing all this worked and it fixed it, fixed the problem. So now I've got, I've still got this in there giving me the power. This is my jump pack. And um, yeah, as soon as I take that off, 
no more power. Push that, push that bit back in. I might just try and um, plastic weld that. Yeah, if you want to know how to cut it, that's how I cut it. And that worked out perfectly, luckily. Um, that was pretty much the perfect area to cut it in. Okay, this thing's pretty hot now, so I'll have a go at trying to plastic weld this, but um, yeah, don't know how we'll go. Well, that came up better than I thought it would. It doesn't look like much, but I mean, if you pulled this tail light out now, you didn't and didn't look closely. You might not even know that that was cut open. That should seal water out now and everything. And yeah, you can't see any difference from the outside. So saved about 200 bucks trying to buy a new one of these. So let's pop it back in the car. <laughs> and there we have it. It's all working again. <laughs> Fixed. That's awesome. And yeah, they don't go out if you tap it or anything. It's all working. So, obviously, it's dark now. That took a little while to do. But anyway, it's fixed now. Cool. I'm pretty happy about that. It's all fixed up. I turned the car off now, so it's not on now. Anyway, you might, well, I was going to say, you might be able to do this to another BMW. Like, I know this is a fairly common problem because I actually see lots of these 3 Series driving around and one of those, one side of those LEDs isn't working. So, um, yeah, anyway, it's happened to me twice now too. So, um, but anyway, pretty easy to fix. Uh, all that cost only like $5 maybe. Or, like. I bought it, you know, a while back, so I can't even remember exactly, but um, it was pretty cheap and uh, fairly easy to fix. Like, it, you could be, I probably should have cut it out with the Dremel or something and and that, but I wanted it with the knife, it was super thin, the little gap, so I was able to weld it back together there pretty easy, which was good. And um, yeah, anyway, um, I guess share this around because this should be able to help, like, most people that own a car like this if they've had a problem or any like you know maybe even like the x5s or x3s or whatever or like um i don't know either one series or three or whatever any any led taillights in a beamer might be able to be fixed like this so this fixed my problem and it was awesome and uh yeah thanks for watching and um stay tuned because i'll probably be flushing the that green coolant out of here next for the blue bmw coolant anyway um, stay tuned for us to like, leave a comment if you want to ask me anything and uh, yeah, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you around. Mm.